Hello and welcome to this unboxing video. This is me opening my box for the NaNoWriMo Survival Kit Swap that is organized by Kevin the Writer, where a bunch of AutoTubers, some small, some big, send survival kits to each other in preparation for NaNoWriMo. Each participant draws a random name of another one, and then we put together a little care package based on what we know about each other if we do, or in case the person who picked our name don't know us, we also fill out a little spreadsheet with some details to help each other out. This year, for example, I sent my package to Bailey May, whom I'll admit I had never heard of before. Um, she's fairly new on AuthorTube, so the spreadsheet helped me out immensely. Bailey May is linked below, by the way, you should definitely check her out, uh, even if for some reason you don't want to watch the entire playlist, which I don't understand why, uh, but yeah, obviously she's in there too. <laughs> And there's also a link to the playlist with everyone's videos, of course, so you should check that out too. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Marcus, as my channel name suggests. I write fantasy and other speculative fiction, and on this channel I talk a lot about world building because that's my greatest passion. And I have a couple of stories that I am chronicling or will chronicle in pretty great detail on this channel. And that includes how I do the world building, how I do the plotting, and it includes lots and lots of spoilers, because that's the easiest way that I have found to really discuss and explain what I'm doing with, you know, concrete and real details. So uh, if any of that interests you, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Now I'll take you back a couple of weeks to my actual opening of this box. Like I said, I didn't know the person I sent the box to, but... I do know the person who sent me my package, and I'm not going to show it because I have... I can show that side. <laughs> because this package came from Moon, and that is super exciting, and I picked it up yesterday, and, and, and I need to open it now. I wanted to open it yesterday too, but I didn't have the time or energy and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to open this now. <laughs> it's fine. And stab. It's a box. This is the top. And cards. So this is a very Vermonty package. And uh, Vermont is famous for its covered bridges, sometimes called kissing bridges, because folks driving carriages through them could share a secret kiss with their sweethearts. That's so cute. <laughs> It's like a garland of autumn leaves. That's so cute! Is this the garland or just a similar garland to the one that's uh, in your uh, Pantstober videos? I know Matilda really liked... Matilda's sitting right here. Hello! <laughs> she really liked your leaves. Now we have some leaves. I am, I am, I am very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy you and I live together, so I will get to experience these leaves too. Yes! <laughs> All of them are wrapped individually. Paper! <laughs> it's a little unicorn! Hello! It's so cute and it's so fluffy and soft. You gonna throw it? Yes! I believe in you. Whee! <gasps> You'll never see this again, Marcus. Even though we do live together. <laughs> You're gonna hide it away? No. Next thing. Paper. That's a little jar. 100% pure maple sugar. Excellent for sweetening tea. Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Mm, next. Tiny nibbles only. Very strong and sweet. Thank you for the warning. Paper. Ooh, pure maple candy. Ingredient, pure maple syrup. Okay then. I'm not gonna taste it right now because I'm gonna save these for Nano. Oh, I can't quite tell what all of them are, but that's an acorn. Something small and skinny. Magnets. Vermont Moose Crossing and Rush Hour in Vermont. 
with cows. <laughs> I like it. My kind of rush hour. I'll go with this one. It says something on this side. Oh. Just in case. I'm assuming the zip lock, zip lock is just in case this thing would break. We generally don't ex export this dark syrup. It's what we locals, locals use. Very flavorful. And it's pure maple syrup. Very dark color, strong taste. Thank you for this exclusive uh, ex export of dark maple syrup. Have you ever had ma maple syrup? I don't know if I've had, ever had maple syrup. Did you buy that to make ice cream with? Was that maple syrup? Maybe. I might have used maple syrup before for making ice cream. Not sure. But I'm gonna use this for what we'll see. The second one is for Matilda. There's something for you in here too. Oh no! <laughs> it's a uh, maple waffle. How exciting. I like it. I like all the maple because um, Moon hangs out a lot in our, our uh, live streams. And on occasion, there's a lot of talk about the maple and maple syrup and uh, things like that. And I'm excited to actually get to try some things. I will share it with Matilda, I promise. She is here. She knows that she's supposed <laughs> to get it, so... <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? I hope this survived the trip unsmushed. It doesn't seem smushed, so I think so. It is a... Chocolate bar, filled maple caramel, 57% cocoa. Exciting. There's a lot of, of um, edibles here, which I really like. And I did feel a little bit bad when I wrote in that spreadsheet that I'm not allowed to buy snacks for myself, but I'm allowed to eat snacks if other people buy them for me. Um, so uh, thank you for all the edibles. For the record, the reason I'm not allowed to buy snacks for myself is that's a rule I set to myself because I need to be healthier and also not spend as much money on candy and stuff. So if I allow myself only to eat candy that I've received from others, then at least that is less candy. So that's good. What else do we have? What is this? It's two it's hooks with a little flower thing. Is it? Yeah, I think they're, they're, um, I think there's glue. Maybe. I'll figure it out. Um, micro writing buddy. Fits in pocket. The writing buddy? <laughs> it's a little teddy bear. And it moves its, it's legs and armsies. That's cute. Two things left. Um, read me. I will read you. I will read you before I open. I assume that is what I'm supposed to do. In past nano survival packs, I have included an inspiring or helpful quote about writing for each of the 30 days. But you, Marcus, deserve something special. Aww. So here's a box of 30 jokes about writing. For example, what's the difference between a cat and a comma? A comma is a pause at the end of a clause, and the cat has claws at the end of its pause. <laughs> <laughs> So enjoy a chuckle or a groan every day of NaNoWriMo, and remember, never run through a campground, only ran, because it's past tense. <laughs> I uh, appreciate the puns. I know that they are um, not always appreciated by everyone, but we like puns here. So I do not open this yet. I start opening this when November actually starts. I'm so excited. And then we have a little rule with paper inside. <laughs> Oops. I'll read first. <laughs> this got difficult. There was no instructions. Should I read first or open first? <laughs> the camera cut off, but I decided to read first. So it says in... That was not the one. That was the one. There are too many notes. <laughs> These are my favorite little tracking stickers. I award myself a star for every 500 words, but you use them however you like. I put the calendar up on the wall so I can always see it and feel encouraged, pressured. I hope I was correct in starting the week on a Monday for a European calendar. Indeed. 
here in Europe, we start the week after the weekend, so on Mondays. I have no idea why Americans and others decided that it starts on a Sunday. But yes, this is a little calendar, and these are really cool little stickers with stars that are rainbowed and has a sort of um, holographic... I did think of the word. You said experience last time. <laughs> holographic effect there was the word I was after. <laughs> A little holographic effect, and they are super cute and glittery, and I am definitely going to be using them somehow. We'll see exactly how. I haven't even decided what I'm going to write for Nana yet. It's still the beginning of October as I'm filming this, so I feel like that's okay. I'm not doing Proctober this year. Apparently. They have a name. They have a name? They have a name. They have a name? No, the heart. That, yeah. Fantasia. I like the name Fantasia because it's um, related both uh, to fantasy, which is the genre I usually write in, but also the Swedish word fantasy, which is imagination. So that's really cool. Boop, boop. 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 <laughs> so that was the box from Moon. Thank you so much. This was so many awesome things, and I look forward to tasting all of the amazing maple uh, maple syrup things and getting to put stickers and all of the things and yes you're gonna live somewhere on my desk and also a big thank you to kevin for organizing this whole thing it is so much fun and i'm so glad that you thought of this the uh, playlist to all of the uh, videos are in the description below as are links to both moon and to bailey may just in case you don't want to go through the playlist for some reason, but still want to find them. Again, like I said, Vela May is the person that I sent my package to. So yeah, I definitely recommend checking uh, both of them out, both Moon and Vela May, and of course everyone else in the playlist, everyone else who participates in this, because all amazing creators. So yes, thank you for watching, be safe, good luck with NaNoWriMo, I will see you some other time. <laughs>